There are two types of fuel cylinders, liquid draw and vapor draw. Liquid draw cylinders are used on large vehicles like forklifts. These machines pull liquid fuel from the bottom of the cylinder. These will not work on propane-powered floor equipment. For propane-powered floor care machines, vapor draw cylinders are used. In these cylinders, liquid propane vaporizes in the top 20% of the cylinder and the engine uses a vacuum to draw the gas from the cylinder into the fuel system. It is important that liquid propane not be introduced to the engine because in most cases on propane powered floor care equipment, if liquid propane is introduced to the fuel system, it will freeze up. Let's review the specific components of a propane cylinder. Looking down at the top of the cylinder, you can see the service valve. The service valve is used to fill the cylinder with propane and it connects the cylinder to the floor care machine. It is equipped with a coupling device that allows the propane gas to travel to the regulator and power the machine. At this connection is an excess flow valve that will automatically close if too much fuel tries to pass through. This protection is necessary in case of a broken fuel line or in the event that the service valve is open when the cylinder is not connected to the machine. The pressure relief valve, sometimes called the safety valve, controls the amount of pressure in the cylinder. The amount of pressure in the cylinder will depend upon the amount of propane in the cylinder and the temperature of that propane. As the temperature rises, the pressure in the cylinder increases. The pressure relief valve will automatically open and start to vent when the pressure reaches 300 PSI. When the pressure in the cylinder is reduced to less than 300 PSI, the valve will automatically close. The liquid level sight gauge is a float control device that indicates the liquid level in the cylinder. The liquid level sight gauge can be used to approximate fuel level, but for an accurate measure, weigh the cylinder. The bleeder valve is used to manually vent the cylinder. Propane cylinders should be filled to no more than 80% of their rated capacity. For North America, cylinders are rated for 20 pounds, so 80% of the capacity will result in 16 pounds of liquid propane in the tank. The other 20% is called the vapor space or head space. This space allows vapor to expand. Before bringing cylinders inside a building and connecting to a machine, make sure the cylinder is not overfilled. Take the cylinder outside to a safe location. Make sure the cylinder is downdraft of any openings in buildings or sources of ignition before you check for overfilling. So wearing gloves and safety goggles, open the bleeder valve and watch the escaping gas. If the gas is invisible, the cylinder is not overfilled. If the escaping gas looks like white mist, the cylinder has been overfilled. Continue to vent the cylinder until the escaping gas is no longer white. Never bleed propane cylinders indoors.